What's going on guys? I'm finally here in Buca Romanga. Uh, to be honest, I've just been stuck in the hotel for the last past three days with editing content. But I'm finally able to step outside and explore the city and show you the energy here. This is an uh, area called Soto Mayor. A beautiful location right here. It's an upscale spot as you can see, beautiful buildings. I think I, this area is the more uh, developed side of town. Where I'm going right now, I'm actually walking and meet up with one of my boys. He's staying in a hotel nearby, uh, MVP. He's been here longer than me. And he told me he loves the city. He feels like it's a cheap city to live. And it's kind of cheap, man, because I'm actually staying in a five-star hotel and I'm paying under $100 to stay there. I'll show you that later. Let's see how this neighborhood is. Okay, these are your buses here <laughs> in the neighborhood, okay. Totally different, look like beach buses. Heading to the beach, it has antennas on top. I wonder, is that to serve as for Wi-Fi or something? Yeah, got a little Wi-Fi on there. And first looks into Buca Romanga so far. Reminds me of, uh, I can't, I can't really say this This place remind me of anything just yet. You know what I mean? Literally, this is like my first couple steps into the city. So, but this feels like a downtown, like a smaller downtown area. What's up? All right, come on, Put a little smaller or something like that. Not too uh, chaotic, if anything. <laughs> I'm sure we'll find out for sure as we explore the city. Let me go find my boy real quick. This city is a motor city as well. That gentleman on the phone actually offered if me a ride if I needed a ride. So they do have motor taxi services here. And there he is. What's Yo. going on, man? You know, <laughs> see the city? Yeah, man. You've right. been here longer than me. Yeah, yeah. So if you wanna, this is like the little park. People hang out. They got that um that uh, famous statue over there uh, from Bortero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Also, too, it's like a lot of, you know, they got a basketball park on the other side, a, a soccer, indoor soccer thing. I want to see people. Where well, are you, you thinking? You want to see people. We walk through here. You might smell some herb. You know what I mean? But, uh, <laughs> let's do it. Let's do a little oh. walk through here. Everything's new. It, it doesn't even matter where we go, pretty much. But let me just check out this statue right quick, right here. Yeah, they got that statue of, uh, from, I think his name is Fernando Botero. If you actually go to Medellin, there's actually a park dedicated to his work but you can find his statues all over. And sometimes you can find them in different countries. I think one time I was in Costa Rica and I saw some of her, his work. Yeah, there it is, that's his name. Mysterio Fernando Bertero. So one lady, she told me her, her child was sick. So they had to come to this hospital there in Bucaramanga. They recommended a, a hospital here. Pediatric hospital? Yeah. Uh, long story short, she was saying while she was here, she noticed how unbelievably cheap it was to live here. Like, as far as getting things done, I was like, really? Yes. So, do you get that idea? Or? I do get that impression. I mean, you look at the list of Airbnbs, and it fluctuates, but I've never seen the, the, the cheap, you know, 20-something dollar Airbnb. In. Oh, he's back again. <laughs> What's up, player? Play okay, got you. All right. And it's in one of the high-rise buildings. It has all the amenities and stuff like that. Uh huh. I haven't tested out the Airbnb yet, but you know, from your hotel, my hotel, pretty decent for good rates. I think they're, what they're lacking is a steady flow of uh, tourism coming here. Yeah. For sure. So this is like bars area, huh? So at night, I would say probably. Around five o'clock, you're gonna start seeing people out here with their social network drinking. More bars, barbershop there, club, market, drinks happening. I'm, I'm easily pleased. Yeah, I mean, I would say if you're having fun here, you will be content because everything is very close if you're in this area. And that's what I'm starting to feel about it. It feels like a... That's a welcome to the bar. Oh, yes, thank if you. If you want to drink, Beer, whiskey, I don't know, but what kind of, of beer do you want? Where, where is this place? What is this street called? Come and say I'm a... Quara Play. Quara Play, Quara Pichin. Quara, Quara Play. Quara, square, yeah. Uh, uh, play. Yeah, Play. 
Okay, and so it's very famous. This is the rumba. This is where the party is. Before the pandemic. Okay. Okay, now. Now it's so. It's still the only place. Yeah. <laughs> Hay otro lugar es así o es el mejor de todo partes? It, it is the best. So we're actually in the better part, yes, okay? Nowadays, you know the situation uh, has changed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Eight o'clock, cut off, everything. Yeah. Not bad, not bad. All right. Cool. All right. So you want to drink? I don't know water. <laughs> we'll come back later. later. Oh, you know, when there's more people, right? Yeah. Okay. No. We'll, we'll try to come back later, guys. All right, guys, so now we're in a taxi. We're gonna go to the tallest statue here in Colombia. It's called Santissimo. I think it's an image of Christ. Um, a lot of people like to go there, especially during Holy Week. So we're heading there, right? But I thought I'd give you a, lo a little view of the area. Like I said, everything here is new. Nothing, you know, has been reported before. Normally when I'm around new stuff, I like to show you everything, so pretty much. In order to get to that statue, you can do it two ways. The long way or the easy way, we're doing the easy way, which is go to a Metro Cables, which will actually bring us up top so we can enjoy the view. Or you can actually drive where the statue is, so that's not what we're gonna do. We paid 15,000 pesos to get there. Donde esta centro? Muy leo. El norte, el centro o el oeste? No, el occidente. Occidente. Sur, norte, occidente, oriente. Okay, so this is downtown area, apparently. Sur es peligroso, ¿cuál es peligroso? Norte. Norte. El norte es peligroso. ¿Qué pasa en el norte aquí? El norte se termina, es que la ciudad es una meseta y hay mocha. Pero ahí abajo es todo como invasión y todas esas cosas, cambia el sur, todo crece. Uh -huh. Por ahí están los centros comerciales, los hoteles, todo eso. Aquí, en el, 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 este lado. Y para el sur, son todos los condominios. Todo el, 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 so the south is where you find all the condominiums. I wasn't, I can't understand what he meant about north. Los comerciales grandes. In the south. Sí. So if we go further south, you'll see the Caña condominiums. Rural, those names he just met, mentioned are mall names, so those are like the bigger malls in there that way. Okay. And, uh, yeah, not bad. You know what I mean? <laughs> Got family over there. <laughs> Loving the energy, though. All right, guys, so basically he just told me that Colombia is separated by different um, areas called stratuses. So it goes from one to six normally. So where he picked this up, that's five. Six it being the most expensive places to live. So we were in one of the most, but if you go more Norte, it's you're gonna go to the more cheaper end, which can be lower income. And it, basically there's more crime in that area. You know what I'm saying? So. Cacique, so this is Cacique Mall right here, guys. It's the biggest uh, mall in Bucaramanga. It has a casino in it and a hotel in it. Oh, a, a hotel. The five star? Single. So you said five star hotel. Uh, maybe, I don't know. I might want to check it out. I'm going to get a good look at it. Check it out, guys. Oh, okay. They got the Dollar City popping. Oh, oh, la, la, la. And then, yeah, it looks cool. Uh huh. Forever 21, the body tech going on. Oh, wow. That's the hotel. That's the hotel? Holiday Inn Hotel. All right, got the bank. It looks like a really cool area. It's in the sur. Yeah? So we're in the south area and it has an exit. So I kind of like it here. What up? It's the most grande. The, the, the south is the most big, or I guess, I, I don't know. But uh, I'm kind of liking this a little soft area right here, south side. 
I'm already loving the city, man. I'm already loving the city now. I told you it's easy to, uh, to please me. It got the it got a, a little uh, energy here. I see young people here. I see youth here. Uh, I saw beautiful women already, guys. Um, seems cheap. Like I said, this ride we're taking 15,000 pesos. That's debatable. You know what I mean? Depending on how far we go. Um, south area seems very modernized to me as far as how things look. Look at this. You don't want to travel. Eh. I don't even know what I'm talking. You, you, you don't get your passport. You don't even got your passport. Oh, hey, just keep recording, man. I'm trying to figure it out. I'm, like watching me, I'm I'm not even lie to you. You're gonna get confused on where you want to stay, all right, or where you want to visit. But this place, I'm here for a particular reason. You'll see, soon shall see. We're here for an adventure, all right. But uh, look at that backdrop right there. I'm loving every piece of this. I'm loving every piece. Oh my god. All right guys, so let's get to where we need to be. Enough, I'm, I'm wasting all the energy here. All right, let's get to where we need to be. My taxi driver is telling me this is the land of the sweets. Uh, mucho dulce aquí? Mucho dulce, la tierra es dulce. Florida Santander. All right, Florida Santander is uh, the land of sweet. Porque tiene que? Why? Mucho dulce, mucho dulce. Okay, so they this area, which is like a small town within the city, produces uh, sweets. All right, guys. Son turistas, van para el Santísimo. Van para el Santísimo? Sí. Ah, se pueden quedar acá, le estamos la temperatura y ingresan a pie. Okay, we get off here, guys, I guess. And uh, do our thing. Let me pay this guy real quick. <laughs> Everything. Oh, okay, I can see the metro cables. Hello, how are you guys doing? All right. Beautiful scenery so far. <laughs> this is not how we planned the day it started. Hey. <laughs> but that's how it is sometimes, right? I actually like how Bucaramanga you got a lot of stuff in a small area. This and is awesome. I love this. All you gotta do is look up on Google Maps and be like attractions Bucaramanga. Like, oh yeah, right there, right there, right there. <laughs> so you gotta go through this beautiful scenery to get to where the statue is. I remember there was a lot of uh, controversy about the statue being built, but uh, it seems like it's working working out for the better because it's actually getting people to come here check it out all right guys we're back after maybe an hour and a half politicking i end up leaving my cell phone in that taxis uh we were able to do some friends forensic work to find out the name of the taxi and everything based on the videos i've been filming we called them up we got the number he's not picking up fingers crossed if not it's all good but i'm still going to show you this it was really sunny when we first got here, but uh, I think it's still good. Vamos, vamos. Okay, let's do it. In order to get in, you're gonna have to pay 22,000 um, pesos, which has to be around, what, four bucks or something? Yeah. <laughs> so, four bucks to get in. That's generally the charge of getting into all type of things they have here. Even water parks are, are that cheap. <laughs> I love it here. The thing about Colombia, they're really about it, making it affordable for families. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Okay. So, you understood what that means, right? Said so we gotta save it because we need it on the way back. Oh, you speak Spanish now, huh? <laughs> All right, guys, let's get it up in here. All right. We've been on these plenty of times. It is clear, nice, clear, energetic. Got the wheels blowing right over there. I wonder how high this thing goes. Where we're going right now, believe it or not, this is one of the quicker ways of getting to the, the statue. All right, now you can drive there, like I mentioned, but uh, this is uh, the Frasca route, so let's do it. I think the most um, uh, entertaining. If anything, because you get to see the landscape. Yep. Yeah, you get to watch people try to stand up by the air. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, but look, you can see that the, the windows open to so get that fresh air coming in. Nice, okay. Oh, whoa. Okay, you got some jungle activity. Nice. I love it. I love it. 
I love it. I love the energy that's pretty much going up the hill. You can see the nice little vertical area where we're coming from. Yeah, this is dope. This is dope. And we're doing it for how much? Four dollars. <laughs> four dollars. For the four dollars. All right, guys. So I'll give you some nice little views from this angle here. And this one's, you know, I don't know how long they had this thing, but this is, this is one of the smoothest metro car cables I've been on. I'm normally hearing a lot more noise than anything, but the nature here is nothing short but amazing, man. Oh my God. <laughs> My ears are already popping though. No? Like I don't, I feel like pressure in my ears. Hmm? Ah, and you get to see some of the, the nice little landscape and everything here. Okay. Really nice. This is, this remind me when I went to uh, the Golden Bridge in Vietnam, guys. Uh, just to see the landscape, the, the, the energy here, man. And yeah, it's kind of far. <laughs> it's not easy to get to. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hey, you ever seen um the movie um with, uh, what's this guy's name? Uh, not Schwarzenegger. Uh, Rambo. Rambo, what's his name? Um, Stallone. Stallone. Cliffhanger. I don't think I've seen that one. I've what's probably, it called? Seen what's it called? Before. Cliffhanger? Like he was like a mountain climber and he, he got stuck on oh, yeah, like a... Yeah. Like a <laughs> That was a man. <laughs> Imagine this thing just snaps. Boom. <laughs> right now. Boom. We don't need that energy. We don't need it. Come on. Boom. Come on right now. You keep living on these things right here <laughs> for a day. Uh, I don't know if we be <laughs> the word living, but. <laughs> oh, snap. Oh, oh, snap. We gone. <laughs> yeah, this is dope, guys. Really, really good. Ah. And then he, I like the fact that they keep the air here. And look. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they have that there just in case. Hey, shut the hell up, guys. Y'all enjoy the scenery. <laughs> Y'all need to shut up and enjoy the scenery. Oh, man. <laughs> hey, what's going on, man? What happened when you move this switch right here? Hell no. Nah. One thing I noticed there's no pollution, air pollution here. That's a, that's a plus for me. Oh, dang! Yo, the statue, guys. The biggest statue in Colombia, right there. Let's do it. Dang, look at this view. Let's see. Alright. Let's get out of here. Just in time, too. My battery is going to die. Alright. Well, we're not a day. We're not a day. Right right guys, statue is huge. Now, when they were building this statue, there was a lot of controversial talk that I think they were building this without the help of the locals or something like that. And, uh, but as you can see, it has somehow in a really um, attracted people coming here. It's not a lot of people today, but I'm, I can guarantee you probably more on the weekend, you have more people coming here. But I do see like families over here enjoying the energy. You got employees. And this statue is huge. Much, much bigger than the one I saw in Cali, Colombia. NASA. <laughs> like it's a spaceship. <laughs> yeah, the lot, what'd you call it? Launch pad. <laughs> yeah, the way they have it set up. Oh. Oh. Here you go, guys. And it has like, in his middle finger, he has like a satellite there. I wonder what the satellite for. <laughs> really dope. Take off. <laughs> ah! How many años this building has been here? Six and a half years. And this statue, the main attraction, is one of the tallest in South America. Okay, Compared what? to the one in Brazil, three meters smaller. Oh, just a little bit smaller yes, than this one is 27 meters high. The one in Brazil is 30.1 30. 
point oh. one meters high. Oh, okay. Because on one time I thought this building was when I think during construction it, they said that this one was going to be a little bit bigger. Yes, that was the idea, but because it's a design, they had to build the statue. That, uh, that a little smaller. Yeah, it's smaller because they use a crane, and the crane wasn't installed. To, to build it bigger than uh, the one in, in Brazil. They should have put a hat on it. They could still fix it. Put a hat. Put a little hat, a sombrero. Uh, <laughs> that wasn't the idea. They, they don't want to put that there. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> so it's a great idea. Uh, six, uh, six years. And it's one of the main attractions now in the, uh, the city of uh, Buca. Bucaramanga. Uh. Well, actually, we're located in Florida Blanca. Okay. It's one of the... There's a town outside of Buca or Manga. Yes, exactly. Maybe 20 minutes, 30 minutes away from Buca? Uh, yes, it depends uh, where You're you coming are from? located. Okay. Yes. What but else there is to do it's here? like 15 minutes. Okay, what else you have here I can do? Hay otro uh, cosas? Well, at the moment, not only the light show up, see if, uh, 6 15. In, in la día mañana? Yeah. Maybe uh, on holidays we have more attractions. Uh, we have people here dancing. We have music and uh, people acting or something like that. All right. You know what? There's a uh, there's restaurant right here. or something, right? Like a little here comida. You can find fast food, uh, empanadas, uh, something to drink. We have a handcrafted beer also, if you like. Okay. And going down by the cable car, you will find a restaurant. Okay. Nice. One step for man, one step for uh, mankind, okay? <laughs> Let's do it. Once you get here, you're gonna have to pay another 5,000 pesos. So all in all, each person 27 pesos. All right. Oh, oh it's going down. Okay, so. It gets dark here and you're supposed to see something better. Oh, it's dark guys. This is like Halloween Horror Night. Let's get it done. <laughs> All right, here we go. Take off! <laughs> We're taking it off. Yo! And then you get to see uh, more of the city from a higher angle. Wow. Yeah. Ooh. This is cool. All right. All right. Halloween Hall. Oh, okay. Glass is kind of thick, thin. Secure. Nice. Nice little top area. Alright. Oh, you shooting time lapse? <laughs> Getting time lapse over there. Nice. So this is like a compartment right there uh, on the statue's head. I wonder if that's what that's for. It's probably like to put the magnetic or something on there. Ah, uh, you know what? That's, those are lightning rods. Ah. That's Oh, lightning rod. First time outside, it's giving me a clearer picture of, of what this city is. It's a, a city full of nature. A lot of things to do nature-wise. The adventure is waiting for us. <laughs> and it already has started with me um, losing my cell phone. Yeah, guys, sometimes the adventure is not going to be fun. But it's going to be a ride. It's going to be some challenges and some adversity you're going to have to go through. But I feel like this is a clear indication of something awesome to come. And down, yes. It's 6.15, there's a light show? Yes. A Michael Jackson light show. We're going no, to be... no, 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 no. It's with you know, a fountain. Okay. Uh, with lights oh. and music. Oh, and 40 minutes. Yeah. yeah. Let's start it now.
Okay, 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 okay,